But it can happen so fast. You can be talking, you get to know somebody, laughing, having a good time, and you feel so comfortable with that person. And next thing you know, you a whole thought out here. Since a whole thought, just gone. Just gone. I was just a whole thought, just gone. Like, no morals. Like, who raised me? Like, another banger and today on the menu we have sushi and kimbap so guys one of my subscribers requested that i do um sushi her name is chastity regal regal gal and i'll have it right here where you guys can see her name and we have dragon roll a dynamite roll we got some beef kimbap right here that i got from h mart i got some of that tiger sauce i got water some soy sauce wasabi ginger all that good stuff but before we even get into this video get this video a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell be notified check out the epic empire everyone's links in the description below and we're gonna get into this prayer father god we thank you for this food let it be nurturing to my body bless the ones that prepared it let no harm come to me through this food in your name i pray amen and yeah we're gonna get into it but today we're gonna have a little talk time or we're gonna talk about me. We're gonna talk about my first one night stand. But first, let's get into this sushi. Look at that. Can y'all see it? There we go. Get a little dip. Mmm. Pour a little bit of this type of sauce on the side. Mm. All right. So, I want to say, look, first of all, this is for grown folks, and do not judge me. Judge your own self, judge your own life. But yes, I have experienced one night stands before. I've actually had two of them. And one of them, my first one, I think I was like 18. And my second one, I was like 19. I don't know. But anyways. So let me tell y'all. Well, look at this one, y'all. I'm scared to hold it like that. Yeah. See? It fell. Just like that. I know it was going to fall. Let me see. That one was good. But anyways. So which one do I want to tell y'all? The first one or the second one? Mm. This is Kimbop. I think I'm saying it right. I'm not really sure. Hmm. It's doing good. Okay. So I was hanging out with this girl. And all day I think we was like shopping. The girl. I still we still talk or whatever, but I was hanging out with her. We were shopping, having a good time or whatever. And she was asking me, can I take her to see her boyfriend? So I was like, whatever, cool beans. Cause what happened was her boyfriend had just got out of jail. So she wanted to see him, but I don't think he can he couldn't leave the house that he was at because of his probation or something. Mmm. Hit him. So I was like, yeah, so we get over there. And he was staying with another dude. And of course, I was like, I wasn't dating nobody. I was single, just doing my own thing. And so we get over there. And at first, I wasn't going to get out of the car. I was just going to sit in the car because I just felt like, I don't know these people. Why am I getting out of the car? Boom, boom, boom. So then she was like, let us come in because we're just going to chill, chill with them or whatever. Come in. 
the other dude, he was real nice. He was like 22 or something like that. He was light skinned. He was kind of short. Um, he had on a red shirt with some blue jeans and some red Jordans. Red and black Jordans. And he had on a red fitted hat. And I was like, okay, he kind of cute or whatever. So then, like, you know, he was like cooking and everything. Like, he was, he had, that was his place or whatever. But he was young. He had his own place. And he was like responsible. Like, you know, he a little bachelor pad. I'm like, okay. So her and her boyfriend, they went on the front porch, smoke. Went back. They was in her room, his room, whatever. I don't know. I'm holding back and forth. So the dude, the dude who owned the place, he was just like asking me a lot of questions like, who are you? Like, where you live? Where you from? You know, how old am I? Stuff like that. Y'all get a bite. Comment if you like ginger. I like ginger. Mmm. It's so fresh. Mmm. So, I asked him, I asked him the same questions. So, it probably was like 12 p.m. or like 1 o'clock when we got over there. I don't even know. But, we was over there for a long time. And like I said, the whole time, we just, me and him just getting to know each other. We're talking, laughing, talking about our childhood. And then we get on the conversation about, you know... He asked me that I think he was cute. So I was like, you know, you're not ugly. Are you my type? Probably not. Cause again, he was light skin. Remember y'all, I told y'all I like dark skin guys. So I was like, you, you're not ugly. And he was like, so of course the camera, the, the memory card was full. Ugh, struggles with being a YouTuber. So, um, back to the thing. So I was like, do you think I'm ugly? He was like, no. He was like, I think you're really, really cute. I was like, oh, okay, cool thing. So, y'all, we got on the conversation talking about doing, you know, doing like, what, what was the craziest place you did it at? So again, time is going by, time is ticking. We're hanging out. He done made a couple of drinks. Yes, I was underage, but it was just a little, little tiny drink. And Lord and behold, I end up in his bed. In his bed, y'all. So I know that when I was younger, I'd be like, I would never have a one night stand. That's so nasty, y'all know people. But now I see how one night stands can can really happen. When it when it happens to you, you would know how. Okay. That's not just, bro. It happens so fast, like. We got to wrap it, and that's how it happened. It was the worst day of my life. No. Shout out to next Friday, day day. But it can happen so fast. You can be talking, you get to know somebody, laughing, having a good time, and you feel so comfortable with that person. And next thing you know, you a whole thought out here. Sis, a whole thought. Just gone. Just gone. I was just a whole thought. Just gone. Like... No morals, like who raised me? Like, <sighs> but it'd be like that. I know some of you guys probably won't say in the comments if you ever experienced that before because some people are so ashamed. But I'm not ashamed to share it with people. What I would advise is that don't, you know, don't do it, especially young kids, don't do it. 
save yourself for, for marriage. Like, for real. Like, it ain't even worth it. It's really not. Mm -mm. But I can say that after that happened, me and him still talked afterwards, you know. We didn't do it again. It was just that one night. But it wasn't like, you know, nothing crazy. And that's being, that's nerve wracking when, you know, you don't know somebody gonna go to your school, talk about you. Mm -mm. That's just scary. Don't do it. Cause guys these days are grimy. They could be recording you and everything. You won't even know. So yeah. Do I love sushi? No. Do I, how often do I eat it? I probably eat it like twice a year. Like seriously. I probably eat it twice a year if that. Or maybe three times a year. Mm. But <clears throat> y'all full. Mm. It was good though. It was fresh. I got it from this place called Mizu in Wakefield where the movie theater at. So if you live in this area, go check them out. <laughs> Anyways, this video thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Check out the Epic Empire. Everyone's links in the description below. And like always, I love you guys. Gang, gang, gang.